All right, everybody, I just want to do a quick unboxing of this Power Vision Power Egg. It came in yesterday. This is uh, about 5.30 in the morning on Saturday. Um, just let me tell you a little bit of backstory on getting this thing for the price I did. I got this on eBay on an auction. There was no reserve on the auction, so... These things usually go at a minimum of a thousand bucks and up. But I was actually last Sunday, I was on eBay looking around trying to get something else. But, you know, at the bottom of the page, you know, it had that you might be interested in, you know, thing. And I saw this and I clicked on it. And I think the reason the guy that was selling it didn't get that much for it is because the 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 ad looked a little shady. And I think people were thinking it was a scam because I was only the second bidder. Okay, the original bid went out at 340. Somebody bid 341. I bid 342. And I put a cap of 389 on it. And two days later, I won the bid at 342. So only two people even bid on this thing. Because what he had on there, he didn't have it. Well, here's the deal. He couldn't have had it sitting out there on a table displayed because he drop shipped it. Okay, that's why he just showed a picture of it. He is from California. But this got shipped from Illinois, from a warehouse, because it was in a box bigger than that box, you know, with the tape all over it and all that stuff. And this had the plastic wrap sealed on there and everything. So that's why he couldn't, you know, show it, a picture of it sitting on his table or anything, because he didn't even have it. Okay, he was, there was some kind of third party going on with that, so... He just had a picture of it, and it wasn't even a good picture. It was real fuzzy. It was a fuzzy-ass picture, so he, <laughs> a lot of people must have thought it was some kind of scam, but I checked the seller, and he had a good reputation, you know. He only had a couple of bad, you know, a couple of complaints, and he had, you know, been on there since 2014 and had sold tons of stuff, so I mean, I didn't have an issue with that, so that's why I went and put the bid on it, so. All right, guys, I already took the little latch off of here. Let's open it up. And there it is. It's brand new. You can tell it's never been used. The, everything was sealed on it. Now we have to get it out of here. There it is. I mean, this thing is heavy as hell, and the battery ain't even in it, okay? The battery is still in the, in the thing here. There's the battery bay right there. Here is the stand. Like that. Here's a little bag you can carry it around in, which I won't use. The build quality, I mean, just the feel of this thing, it feels... Yeah, they spared no expense on build quality, I can assure you. I mean, if you was to feel this thing, how heavy, I don't need... Let me see if this scale, it might bust this scale up. <laughs> That's how heavy this thing is. I'll just try to balance the egg on here without the battery. It's 1740, about 1740 grams. So, the sucker is heavy, and you open it like this. There it is opened up. And it's got the gimbal cover there. And it has a, a little 
styrofoam foam rubber gimbal guard on it. So there it is opened up. This is what it looks like when it's flying because the legs retract. So I'm going to set it down here for a second. Okay, we'll open up the other stuff real quick. It's a very nice bag. Very heavy too. So this battery must be very heavy also. Okay. There this is. Here's the battery. And it's not, has it, it doesn't have a swelling or anything in it. So that's a good sign. It's a 6400 milliamp hour 14.8 volt. And the battery weighs in at 582 grams. So that's pretty hefty. Now, there's this thing on here, because I watched a video on it from some guy in England. He did it. He liked it. Um, this little, like, magic wand thing. I'm not using this. He said it was a gimmick. He said it was a useless gimmick, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother with that thing. But here's the Wi-Fi thing that you hook onto the transmitter and this and you put your phone or tablet in here and it sets into the unit and I think it's powered by the unit by the power out of the transmitter so here's the USB and the micro USB so that's not too complicated here's the power brick right here And it has everything you need on here. You can, it's got dual micro USB ports, or no, it's got three of them. So you can charge the transmitter, you can charge that, and maybe something else, maybe your phone <laughs> while you're doing all this. And then here's the power cord. It's that typical Sony deal there. Stuff has that. Here's the user manual which I don't need to read because I saw all this crap on the video. So Here's the plug for the transmitter to the little thing there. There's a couple of them. There's one for this, for the magic wand. And there's one for the transmitter itself so they give you two they give you three actually so oh no one of them is another micro USB cable and the transmitter I mean this thing wow god the build quality on this thing is very impressive very impressive here's the dials Here's the on and off button. I'm going to charge it up first. Okay, there's two of these dots because the camera rotates. I don't think it's 360 degrees. I think it's 290 degrees. So you can go from like one this way all the way around that to that way or something like that. I think that's what it is. I'm not sure. I think they say they claim 360 degrees. But I think that's been debunked by somebody. Um, yeah, it just has some buttons on here. I'm not sure what they do. I'm sure that's a takeoff land. That's probably to return to home because it has an arrow with a circle. I'm not sure what that's for. So well, one of these dials probably turns the camera this way and that way, and the other dial... Uh, goes up and down with it and here's a photo and video button here and I don't know what that's for we'll figure it out yeah really nice man really nice I wonder what this the transmitter weighs this thing weighs 559 
grams, which I think is more than the Phantom 3 controller. Yeah, it has a real, it probably has a big battery in there. That would, uh, what I would imagine. Doesn't have the size of the battery in there, but it's probably in the manual somewhere, the size of the battery for this. So yeah, it looks good, man. Looks real nice. Build quality on this thing is, pff, wow. Big giant motors on there too. Those motors are huge, which they would have to be to pick this sucker up. Because that thing's heavy as hell. But let me get it charged up and we'll get out there and fire it up. Alright guys, I'll talk to you later. Okay, big gobbler, get out of the way. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.